Hello everyone! Um, this video is hopefully going to <laughs> help you guys um, pick up your rats and also um, it's a really great thing to do during trust training so hopefully it will help you guys with your brand new rats and also your um, rats that you have now so oh my goodness Harper's licking me she never does that let's get this on camera I think it's over <laughs> nope. nope she's done <laughs> anyways so I'm going to introduce something to you that I don't I'm, I'm sure that it's been talked about other places but I call it the scoop method so that's what I'm going to call it the scoop method it's a method of how to pick up your rats um, in a way that is m that is better for them because rats are predatory or no not predatory they're prey animals yeah Pippa's really predatory <laughs> they're prey animals so if you come at them here, let me try and so if you come at them like this and try and pick them up this way Pippa doesn't like it it looks like an animal trying to grab them. So and they usually don't like it when you touch their sides too much either because it brings on that fight or flight response. So that's not a great way to pick up your rats. So a lot of um, new rat owners will make that mistake of, you know, the rats will be running around and then they try and follow them and then they try and grab them. And Pip is, you know, very trusting of me so she's okay with it but any other new rat would not like that. So, um, so what they do is they lose the trust of their rats before they've even started because they're just picking them up the wrong way. And um, my rescue rat, Phoebe, who um, was part of the old mischief that has since passed away, um, she was not very trusting of me until I started doing this method and everything changed. It was amazing. So I highly recommend it. Um, I did it since the beginning with these guys. And now, you know, I can I can do anything I want to them. Right, Biba? <laughs> Hi, Jen. Right, Jen? Yeah. So, unfortunately, I only have two hands. So I'm going to um, explain the the method to you and then I'm going to put a video of me doing the actual scoop method. Um, I'm going to plug it into this video and hopefully it'll, that'll work. I've never had to do that before but I can't actually videotape me doing the scoop method because it takes two hands. So um, if that's kind of weird let me know but hopefully it'll work. So, um, But first I'll explain it to you and I can show you with one hand, so one half of it. So uh, let's put Jeannie out here. So hi Jeannie. So what you do is you take both hands, lay them palm, palm up, and what you're going to do is you're literally making a scoop for them. So, <laughs> so here we go. Come here Jean. So with both hands you're going to come underneath like this. <laughs> Good girl Jean. You're going to come around the rat and scoop up with both hands. <laughs> Harper thinks I'm playing with her. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> with Pippa. So you're gonna scoop. And you might have to follow them a little bit, but um, I'm gonna put the video in now so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so hopefully that worked and you saw me doing the scoop method. So you're literally like making a little bowl for them with your hands, both hands like this, going underneath the body and lifting. And that way, they don't see you coming from above. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
they're going crazy. <laughs> they don't see you go coming from above, so that helps with the um, lowering the fight or flight response. So hopefully they won't have that when you're when you're first picking them up. Um, and it also gives them full body support because your hand, you know, it's pretty much the length of the rat. So it makes them feel more secure when you're picking them up because if you pick them up like this, now again, Ginny is very trusting of me, so she lets me do that, but that is not a good way to do it because um, everything <laughs> is not supported. They feel very, very, see, my car broke. She didn't like that. Oh, little booger. <laughs> so, you want them to feel completely supported. That's a really important thing, especially when when you're holding them in your in your arms too. You want them to be completely supported. <laughs> Gonna get Pippa. So yeah, um, try that method instead of what <laughs> whatever you were doing before. Um, I think. If I'm right, it'll help um, your rats at least. Um, it seems to not set you back, which is what I've noticed is that um, picking up your rat in a bad way um, can really set you back. Even if you're doing all the trust training in the world, if you're not picking up your rat in a way that's good for them, then you, you might never gain their trust. But if you do this, it'll at least tell them, or show them that you're someone they can trust. So it's just one helpful thing. Again, it made all the difference with my rat. Um, if you do this and it works or makes things worse, please um, leave a comment below. I'm really um, anxious to see if people have success with this. Oh my gosh, she's trying to escape. Again, I've tried this and um, I showed my cousin this technique and it worked with her rats too, but you know, I'm just, I'm just one rat owner, so it might not work for everyone. So I'm kind of anxious to see if it works with other people, oh my goodness. So leave a comment below if you try it, let me know what happens. Um, leave a comment below if you have any questions about the scoop method. Um, I'm going to do a video about trust training um, more in depth, so look out for that. Oh, goodness. Um, but yeah, so try the scoop method. Let me know what happens. Um, thanks for watching.